she could face anything between two and four years. If she's 28 years old, that would be career ending, basically. I mean, at that point, you can't figure she's going to have much more to time if she's gone, say, for two years. Yeah. But I could see getting yeah. off, you know, time for good behavior. Because she did this, because she's one of those rare athletes to just admit it right away and face the music, I think they might uh, maybe give her a little bit less. But I do think, I absolutely think they should give her some kind of ban. Otherwise, what, what good are your rules if you're not banning people at least for six months or so? It sounds like you don't think this is a career-ending admission or, or violation. It could be. Again, if, if they decide to throw the book at her and she gets two years or so, she's done. I mean, that's just hard, so hard to come back at that age as it is. She's been injured. Uh, she has five Grand Slam titles, but she's so far behind Serena, and Serena has just uh, owned her in all these major uh, competitions that they've played. So uh, it could be over. I hope for her, though, it's not over. The fact is, though, sh she is labeled now a cheater. I mean, right. there is no doubt about it. She can say, I didn't know, which is what she's saying. Nonetheless, she has to know, Jake. When you get that email saying this is now on the ban list and you've been taking this for 10 years, you have to know that. You cannot let that go and you cannot say, oh, that escaped me. This is her career. That's everything about her career is in her image is based on this, these kind of uh, pieces of information on the drug testing.